Wait, what? You're still in storm mode? Are you kidding me? Wendy, the government shutdown ended. No, it didn't. Hey, I'm Wendy Valencia. Welcome back. If you are new to my channel, my husband Mauricio and I are doing something. I know there's Dave Ramsey involved and a lot of debt. On this channel, we talk getting out of debt as quickly as possible. So if that is something that interests you, click that big old red subscribe button down below. So yeah, we are sort of, kind of, a little bit in storm mode. Let me explain. As you all know, both Mauricio and I work for the federal government. So with the recent shutdown, we were not so sure how that was going to impact our finances. As it turns out, both Mauricio and I were required to work through the shutdown, which really only affected us for about eight hours one day. But the budget was only approved on a continuing resolution, and this is going to be an issue again tomorrow, February 8th. I am filming this a little early, so maybe they figured everything out and gone ahead and signed off on a full budget. But just in case they haven't, we are staying in storm mode. Now, both Mauricio and I have determined we will get paid during any shutdowns. So it's only a matter of timing. So while we're in storm mode, it's not like real, real storm mode. It's like semi storm mode. We're gonna go ahead and only put minor payments to debt um, just our minimums until the end of the month and hopefully by the end of the month, everything will be figured out. So I wanted to go through our budget today and show you what semi-storm mode looks like. In semi-storm mode, our cell phones will stay. Our storage unit will stay. Our gas is going to go from $60 to $30. We will not be buying any extra gas to fill up other people's cars, and we will try and avoid driving as much as possible. In Melina's category, before and after care will have to be covered. School bucks will go down to zero. She will be taking her lunch every day. We will be taking out $20 miscellaneous school expenses, so that will no longer be there. Valentine's Day, we're gonna go ahead and leave in, but we're going to try and do it as cheaply as possible. This last thing you see, the registration for summer camp at $1,014, that is actually coming out of our summer camp sinking fund. Registration for summer camp for the county that we're in is actually in February and if you don't register on the day of registration you are likely not to get into the camps you want and because those camps are actually cheaper than a lot of camps we're going to go ahead and spend that money because that is something we have to do for the summer insurance and tax all of this is actually going to stay the same except for one thing we will not be submitting our taxes I will do the taxes and submit them to my tax guy but not until we figure out what's going on with the budget for our jobs. And once that's straightened out, we'll go ahead and submit. We might have to reevaluate this in March if they do another continuing resolution, but hopefully we will not. You can see we have nothing in the Mauricio and Wendy categories at all. That's store mode. The cash categories, what we're planning on doing is we will probably go ahead and fully fund these cash envelopes and try not to spend them and then maybe next month we'll be able to carry them over but we'll see how that goes we're, we're for now we're not going to spend much in the way of cash the recurring annual expenses those are what they are and those don't change from month to month they are bills as is with all of my YouTube categories. So nothing's gonna change there either. Medical, this is where it gets really iffy because medical is medical. And I pushed off my dentist appointment already once. And so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that dentist appointment for February. And then Mauricio and I, by the time you see this, will have already gone to the eye doctor and gotten new glasses, new contacts. Now. If I hadn't scheduled that when, and known this storm mode was coming, I would not have scheduled it. But because it was already scheduled and I have that weird freakish eye infection thing going on where I'm having to wear glasses all the time and I'm really having trouble like driving and seeing with my regular glasses, we decided to go ahead and go forward with this. But we will, you know, be reasonable. Like when I buy contacts, I'm going to buy one pack of contacts instead of an entire year's supply. This next one, the $208 dermatology bill, I am actually 
stay in debate mode with the company. To me, it looks like they didn't submit one of the things to my insurance. So I am working with my insurance to figure out what happened, why they rejected it. They said my insurance rejected it. I think the dermatology place submitted the bill to the wrong place. So we're working on that. And um, so hopefully I'm not gonna have to pay that in February, but I might. So we'll see. And then Melina had a doctor's appointment. She got hives all over her body one day. It was just a regular old virus. We ended up having a bill of $5.91 for that. Our sinking funds. We're gonna go ahead and fully fund those because in storm mode, you wouldn't normally fund sinking funds. But again, we're not really in full storm mode. We're in like semi-storm mode. So we're gonna go ahead and fund our, our sinking funds because if we don't fund them, it ends up hurting us later. So it's smarter for us to go ahead and fund them. And the Amazon and the cushion category are going to go away. They're going down to zero. So hopefully no frivolous spending for Wendy this month, period. So right now, the way it has in this, we have it set up in this budget, we are going to be putting $6,123.99 to debt this month, but we are not going to put that in the beginning of the month. We are going to pay the very minimums at the beginning of the month when all of the bills are due. And then at the end of the month, hopefully when this is all over and we're back to normal, then we'll put the rest of the money to our debts. So oh, fingers crossed that we're gonna have this issue resolved by the end of February so we can make our full debt payments. But so for now, we'll just be making what the bank says is our minimum. Make sure you come back on the 28th and check out what we actually put to debt. So, oh. This is making me nervous because we have a goal to pay off our largest debt by September, October at the latest. And all these things are slowing us down and I'm not really cool with that. So it is what it is. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. And this one is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!